an urgent announcement. This sector has temporarily been designated as a mother's for and against violent zone. That means what you got in mind? An intruder has infiltrated the G3 recruitment. Hey, it's an asshole who's been fucking with our training exercise. Oh shit, here we go. I'll be honest, I really want you to use my glob shot. I was just starting to think, maybe you didn't like me or something. That's what 
they get for joining the G3? You know, I, I, I guess. I don't, I don't know. It's, I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm conflicted on it. It's rough. This is it. Douglas is right beyond this door. Can you help me out one last time? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, huzzah. Plimmy, Froopy, Sloopy, here I come. I was as good at these as you. You're really good. Did you go to puzzle school? about my wife's body being ripped in half by one of Douglas's torture devices. And it's not working, to be honest! I've decided that if my family is dead, I'm going to kill myself and join them in the afterlife. Don't talk me out of it! This is what love does to a person! Feel bad if it takes you a while. It's tough, right? Okay, I know that earlier I said don't feel bad if this puzzle takes you a while, but I also want you to remember every second you take solving this is another second Douglas might be torturing and killing my family! Wait to see my little flimmy, proppy, and droopy. stupid right about now he was fucking with us we got played look at us we got played we fell for it damn it <laughs> oh fuck off <laughs> i was never dr jupy there is no dr jupy are you shocked you idiot Yeah. <laughs> 
trying to get me all excited and withhold the big climax? I need to come. Ah, fuck yeah, that's definitely the stuff. Oh, now that felt good. He had some very nice, choppable flesh, actually. It was actually very nice. Oh, fuck! All right, dipshit, let's go. What? No hello? Nice to meet you, or thank you for saving me? Why? Like you not dying there with some sort of favor to me? Hi, I'm Sweetie. Thanks so much for rescuing me. How is that, dipshit? Now come on, use my time bubble to escape through the big fan in the corner. Hey, if you want to slow down time, it's ready. Pretty cool, right? You're gonna find out real fast that I'm the best Gatlian, smartest, most useful, best looking. No, no, come on, come on, I'm pretty good. Douglas, it's Garmentuous. Where the fuck are you? I heard you made a complete fool of yourself at that party last night. Not good, Douglas. Not. Good. I'm gonna need you on top of your game now that we've got a hold of these humans. We're spread thin over on Earth, and I need more troops immediately. Not to mention things are gonna start heating up all over the galaxy as demand goes up. Big things are happening, Douglas. Get excited! And get your fucking shit together! Okay, yeah, fuck that. Oh, shit! I think that's a photo of the famous dude who invented translator microbes. Why the fuck does he know Douglas? Oh, God, I hope nobody comes up and shoots us. You know, I hope nobody's got a brand new You Want to Fuck These Guys Up. My crystals stick in the baddies and they'll explode if you hit them real hard. Like with your knife, you get it. Go nuts. Stab his ass! Let me have some fun! Oh, oh, done already? I was just getting into it. Aim me at those fuckers and I'll charge up a super crystal. You look scared. So just blast some normal shots, then finish them off with my super crystal. You got that, dipshit? Uh, you don't think I like getting hurt? Uh, oh, the coward wants to hide, huh? 
Well, it's not gonna work! Check this out. Aim me at that candy ass and shoot him through his cover. Fuck yeah! He had no idea what hit him. Oh, now we gotta get across, huh? Hey, you wanna see what else this time bubble can do? Oh, jeez, do I gotta spell it out for ya? Try slowing down one of the ships, then we can use it to hop across. Okay, you got this. Just nice and easy. Hop on the time. Incredible, right? What a thrill. You know, you can use that time bubble on the G3, too. And try loading the bubble up with my crystal. Then you'll see if you're the best Gatlian. Ah, <sighs> we're gonna make a good team. I can feel it. Just listen to everything I say and never use the other Gatlians. So what's next? You turn in the bounty somewhere? Go do that. We can wrap this up. Kid, another one down, huh? Great work. <laughs> but uh, hey, there's something you should see. Take a look after you turn in your bounty. How could you do this? You're mine. Don't you know you're mine? I'll be back. All right, I'm coming back. This is your bedroom? Okay. Wait, you got it. Wait. No, it's a game game. Come on, turn in that bounty already. I gotta show you this. All right, good. Get over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Check this out. Hello, Blim City citizens. That's Club Nugman, Blim City magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch us next bit. That's all about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Yeesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you go. Oh, great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Just head through there. Clug's expecting you. Sorry for making the call without you, but uh, Clug's a good man. I say we hear him out.
Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you... You've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems. Assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit, like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Yo! So, <laughs> it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yep, and he even gave us this weird thing we could save humans with. God damn, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Bordo's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Oh, shit. You the owner of this house? It can't be here. Gotta give you a ticket. Concession man, I got a lead. Details needed. So, okay, you saunter away. I wasn't saying nothing. Yo, Mr. Keith, got any jetpacks back there? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help.
Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Nice. Don't we get a jetpack now? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Oh, way to rip us off. Guess we'll wait, not like we have a choice. Let's go tell Gene. Wow, how many years of college did it take for you to learn how to buy something? Ooh, touch me again, touch me again! I need it! Do this, and that's it. Okay, we'll, we'll just end it there. I just, I'm glad I got to squeeze that in, and of course, this is more about... You there! How about some, uh, food? Hey, welcome to Blordo's. I'm Blordo. You here for the food? Or the other stuff? <laughs> what, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on, we're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine. I sell secret shit, if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now order something or leave. You got it. Good day to you, food customer. Next week on Alien Channel 52, the jumble heist. They're gonna jumble around and heist things, and you're gonna see them jumble around. And it's and oh my God, you're gonna watch a bunch of jumbly heist people. And these aliens don't give a fuck about your... Excuse me. Stuff. They're gonna jumble right into your room and heist everything. Personal space. If you touch me again, Sunday, I'll eat your head. Said, Six feet, please. Careful, I'm contagious. Open your eyes, asshole. 52, I think I said. Are you... How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. Hey, Uncle Bob. Exactly how you feel. May I? Oh my fault, I never should have asked you to come over. I love you so much. So this is your bedroom, huh? It's fine. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up. Let, let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! Oh, oh, Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com jetpack pro. At all. I'm just trying to, try, I'm trying to figure out my life. All right, okay, stop wasting my time. We are here to advertise shirts, ties, suits. We guarantee it. Check out that landing. God damn. All right. Well, I 
I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. Before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene, like you've even ever been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Oh, come on. You haven't even seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me? <laughs> no, sorry. But I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this twee guy pregnant. And then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off. Just grow up and get used to me and Twig. Come on, tell Gene I can date whoever I want. Thank you. Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Gene, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Yeah, you know, I appreciate you having my back, but uh, maybe your sister's right. Or not. Yeah, what do I care? Team Gene, baby! God, talk to me. The sound of your voice is so good. You are doing fine, sweetheart. Hey, are we cool? You were kind of coming at me pretty hard during that argument. And just remember, like, we're siblings, right? And you're all I've got left right now. And Gene's a piece of shit. Oh, hey, another girl on the team. Good. Actually, I mean it. I'm not being snarky. That's so nice to see. Yeah, yeah, don't get too excited. We're not even the same species. There's somebody on the porch. I'm okay. Sorry we roped you into another argument. I want you to meet Tweed, by the way. I really think you'd like him. He's really nice to me, and, well, he's helping me feel a little more normal. Even though his body doesn't make any fucking sense to me, and he keeps trying to take me to restaurants that don't serve anything edible to humans, but... No, he's really sweet. So don't worry about me. You can focus on killing the space mafia, or whatever. I didn't want anyone to hurt you. 
What do you want me to do with him? Just take him home. Yep, now tell us stuff. Oh, uh, it was awful. Everyone else got enslaved again, if you can believe it. Honestly, I think they like being enslaved. Don't really care, but just to be polite, where are they? They're working at Screndo Labs now, just past the Mushroom Valley here. Just be careful, that place is freaky. Cool, again, don't really care. Did they turn this highway into their home? Hey, I'm the youngest one left alive. That means they're gonna sacrifice me to Lord Asphaltia tomorrow. I can tell you right now, this place isn't relevant. Now, probably looked like shit back then, too. So what? We're just gonna hang around here in the village? You wanna roleplay as Moplet? Oh, I'm a little Moplet! Big whoop! Let's go already!
you cross the big gap. You want me to order you a trophy off of Delarmo Prime? Good, this is the right path. If it isn't, I'll freak out. G3 broadside the bounty hunter. Why the hell we're in this acid? <laughs> 